what's up guys and welcome to today's video this month's video whatever you want to call it but this is the february bullet journal i made it through a whole month of doing this i also realized very quickly that i forgot to put the words of the month words of the year whatever it's called again on the page so the quote for february was think happy and love because i've been not so mentally great at being upbeat so first page budget because the first thing whenever you want to think of think happy and love is money there's logic there i swear anyway i just counted out the budget from january pretty much just transferred it over made a couple adjustments and then realized i think when i was actually going to use it that i needed another box so that got added in later um the words of the year also got added in later but i decided to go ahead and add an expense tracker in mostly because i'm just curious uh, about my impulse spending and i want to see if tracking it curbs it any so the next page is the mood tracker i drew these lines once i got done started on the horizontal lines and realized i did not mean to do that so i'm gonna do the key instead so then I fill up the 28 hearts and just tried to ignore the fact I spent uh, like an hour and 20 minutes on this page when I was designing it because I could not get these hearts to be the same size. That's why I had the grid. It still didn't work. Uh, moving on to the habit tracker now. I changed this one up a lot and I like this setup way more. The daily coloring in is wonderful. I love it. It makes me feel like a child, so I enjoy coloring everything in. So I moved some things into the dailies and some things that were the weekly or a couple times a week, I gave them their own set. So this is the weekly. It's just Monday to Sunday, and I have three different things I want to make sure I do at least once a week. And then two to three times a week, I have four different activities I wanted to do then. And this awkward square thing, I can't draw circles to save my life. And I don't want to go buy a compass, so they're squares. Minecraft has broken me. But this is the two times a month one, so I divide it into eight sections. One section is kind of like a key, but there's each day of the week. And then each week of the month, we can just kind of color everything in so that this page should be super colorful by the end. And then I just added in the key, looked to see what was next, realized it was just kind of make it as you go. So I decided to go and erase all of the pencil lines now. Realized once I had the brush markers down, I couldn't really do that. So I made sure to erase the titles for each page and then use the brush marker to fill it in. Um, this was a mess to clean up afterwards, if I'm being fully honest. So I kind of grabbed this light peachy, I don't know what color this is. I just grabbed everything related to pink and purple, and those were my colors for this month. So I'm just kind of continuing that on each page, clearing out the pencil marks. And I realized my kneading eraser, the kneadable eraser, I left at work. So I was just using this backup one that I had. I realized I didn't draw in the little uh, lines for the two times a month. So I went ahead and added those in here. So you can kind of see what I was talking about a bit better. Where it's divided into eight sections. And I just labeled my key for that. Labeled daily, weekly, and two to three times a week. And the monthly. And then made my key down there and put in my mood tracker title and habit tracker title. I can finally spell habit properly. It took me a whole year. Then realized I didn't put the numbers in the mood tracker for the days of the month, so I did that real quick. And yeah, just erased brain and dump and then wrote those in the same color. And decided to give myself two pages because one page was not enough last month. And then just started on this first week setup. This one I freehanded. It's still driving me insane that none of the lines are actually straight because I can't draw a straight line. You can see the ruler. I think I was just getting tired of using it. But yeah, so I just kind of set up essentially the exact same thing I've been using. I just really like it. I don't know why that box was so awkward to draw there, but it worked. I just kind of left that space for whatever I wanted to use it for labeled each of them in the purple, and then I think I grabbed another shade of purple, maybe? Yes. It's like a purpley pink, and gave the numbers. And here we go, February, thank Cappy, flippy flip, 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 and we're done. Hope you guys have a good day, and see you next month. Bye!